As I upload this video, Virtual Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown, aka Virtual Fighter Esports, has been out for almost a week for most people, and a full week for myself and seemingly half the player base considering how many codes for the game were given out on streams and the like. I tend to strike while the iron's cold, so I won't bother mentioning things you've probably heard about for a month now or point at any incoming releases looming overhead like Terminus Moon. All I'll say about the game's current form is that for something cobbled together in about a year and a half, it's serviceable, but I find it strange how something so focused on esports can omit the sort of replay slash media sharing that lots of other esports games thrive on. Especially since the arcade versions of Virtual Fighter 5, 5R, and Final Showdown had hooks for stuff like VF.net, which had really convenient options like video generating links to use on its site. Maybe it's an oversight, maybe it's coming down the line, maybe Sega is just trying to reinvent the wheel again. I could say the same for the state of the player rooms, to be honest, but Sega said that the game's developers are going to change how lobbies look, so we'll see how that goes. Not really tempted to make a moral judgment on the netcode or how the new models look though, I find that to be a bit preposterous. Anyway, it's been really nice to see other people play the game. I took a long break myself, but I jumped back into Final Showdown last year, and that really helped me de-rust in time for this version of the game. I was very pessimistic as to how Ultimate Showdown would turn out as a complete package, or rather as an incomplete package, but for once I decided to keep my mouth shut and just let the game come out. Not only am I pleasantly surprised by how the game itself shook out, I also managed to avoid embarrassing myself, which I consider an absolute win. I'm also pleased to see so many people give the game a genuine shot in this first week. For many, many years I tried playing Virtua Fighter with other people, even when it wasn't that old, and they would get cold feet. And this wasn't me prophesizing about VF, screaming about how it's only $15 USD or $29.99 for a complete package with special sparring and extensive customization options to everyone in sight. This was me talking to people I knew, IRL, who are playing on my PS3, mulling over how it would be nice to learn VF. I'd offer to fire it up right then and there, and they'd say, nah, I'm good, I don't think I can pick it up right now. I thought after all this talk about respecting VF, loving to watch VF, etc, etc, people would just not bother to try it, even if they didn't have to pay. Seeing the game start out strong proved me wrong, and even if this level of traffic doesn't last beyond this point, I was happy to bear witness to it. Although again, you know, a lot of codes are given out, I know. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I think there's a lot of room for Ultimate Showdown to improve, and while the visual changes and ease of access the game provides will lead it to replace Final Showdown as a competitive game, at least for the players on PSN, there's no real word on a PC or Xbox One port so far, so I don't know how that's gonna go. But Final Showdown is distinct enough to be its own thing. If PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360 emulation become more accessible over time, I anticipate that some will take their chances with Parsec Final Showdown or for Ultimate Showdown. But the important thing here is that Ultimate Showdown is accessible, at least if you have a PS4 or a PS5. I think that direct engagement is always the best option, so if you viewers out there have any interest in VF in general, or Final Showdown or Ultimate Showdown specifically, and you can play it at some point, please do so, whether it's on PS4, PS5, or your 100% legit PS3 with your totally legal BIOS dumped onto your PC. Hell, you, if you can figure out how to play 2, 3, or 4, go ahead and do that too. Virtua Fighter 3 Team Battles on Fight K2, Virtua Fighter 4 Final Tuned is finally mostly working through emulation, there's a lot of different versions of Virtua Fighter to mess around with nowadays. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go back to ranked so that I can get slapped around and hope that eventually lobbies are made functional. Uh, I'll catch you later.